Channel 2's John Pruitt has been on top of every moment of this election. He joins us now with a look at where the nominees stand this evening. John? Thank you very much. Uh, there is much to encourage Hillary Clinton tonight. She is slightly ahead in the national polls. There's evidence of a spike in African American turnout in key states. That bodes well for her. And early voting shows a huge increase in the Hispanic vote in swing states, particularly Florida and Nevada. That should benefit Clinton. And yet there is also apparent nervousness in the Clinton camp, as evidenced by her 11th hour campaigning in Michigan, a state Democrats haven't lost since 1988, and Pennsylvania. Now, that would seem to indicate concern about a late Trump surge that might flip Michigan, possibly Pennsylvania. Pollsters say that's unlikely, but if it did happen, the electoral map would change dramatically. Trump is hoping his message of jobs and draining the Washington swamp will bring his followers out in force to carry all important Florida, North Carolina, New Hampshire, Ohio, and other swing states, as well as a state Clinton is favored to win, Michigan, Wisconsin, possibly Pennsylvania. That is his path to victory, narrow though it may be. But it's now out of the hands of the pundits and into the hands of the voters as they decide tonight it could be a dramatic finish to a most unusual campaign. Unusual for sure. Now what about the impact of an increased uh, presence of Hispanic voters and African American voters here in Georgia? Might that do anything? Well, Georgia has long been rumored to be on the cusp of becoming a purple state. Mm -hmm. And in fact, most people think Trump is going to carry Georgia. But we'll be looking at the margin, the margin of victory. And if it's narrow enough, considering the fact Democrats didn't expend any energy in targeting Georgia, right. uh, that could well mean Georgia is on the way to being a purple state. And you can say the minority vote would be responsible for that. But Johnny Eisenstein's comfortable. He's going to get reelected. Uh, the only question is, can he avoid a runoff? And if the libertarian candidate, Alan Buckley, finishes with less than 5%, I think he will. All right, John, thank you. Our election coverage continues with ABC World News Tonight. That's coming up in about 10 minutes. Watch our live digital coverage on WSBTV.com starting at 8 p.m. We'll have live Team 2 coverage of the major races, of course, coming up on the Channel 2 Action News Nightbeat at 11.